What is water quality trading? Water quality trading is an environmental market aimed at improving the water quality of our streams, rivers, estuaries by reducing the amount of nutrient pollution in them. Why do water quality trading? In our case, the Wetlands Initiative is looking for new and innovative ways to finance wetland restoration since we have lost many of our wetlands in the Midwest. Water quality trading is just getting started across the country. Each trading program is different, but all programs share the same three basic components, setting, actors, and plot. Let's start with the setting. A water quality trading market takes place in the context of a watershed. A watershed is an area of land where all the water that is under or on it drains off in the same direction to the lowest point, which may be a stream, river, or lake. Watersheds come in many different shapes and sizes. Large watersheds, like the Illinois River, are made up of many smaller watersheds. The setting for the water quality trading market may be within the context of a small or larger watershed based on the starring actors. Let's talk about the main actors. The first actor is a regulated facility, such as your local municipal wastewater treatment plant. Anyone with a pipe that discharges water is a point source discharger and regulated under the Clean Water Act. In this example, we have one regulated facility within our watershed. The Clean Water Act requires that point source dischargers limit what they put into a water body to a specified amount. This is their permitted amount. Scientific research shows that the excessive nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen degrade local water resources, and as they flow downstream through the Gulf of Mexico, they fuel the growing dead zone in the coastal estuary. Let's use phosphorus as an example for our market. This particular facility is currently discharging 10 pounds of phosphorus per month. Illinois and other states are working on creating regulations that will reduce these excessive nutrient loads to our waterways. For the sake of our example, let's say in the not so distant future, the State Environmental Protection Agency only allows this facility to discharge two pounds per month. That will mean it will have to remove the excess load of eight pounds per month of phosphorus. One method to do this would be to upgrade the treatment plants so they can remove eight pounds of phosphorus every month. But that will take a lot of energy and money, creating a burden on taxpayers and local ratepayers and increase greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. An alternative method is to pay someone else in the watershed to remove the eight pounds of phosphorus per month. Here is where we introduce our second actor, landowners, such as farmers or ranchers. Three landers upstream of the regulated facility in this watershed voluntarily decide to restore wetlands in their drainage ways or on other marginally productive land. Why wetlands? Because we know that wetlands naturally remove nitrogen and phosphorus. So let's put those natural, physical, biological, and chemical processes to work. By carefully locating, designing, and monitoring these three new wetlands, a total of eight pounds of phosphorus is removed per month. Let's call those eight extra pounds nutrient credits. The landowners can sell those eight nutrient credits to the treatment facility downstream. Here is where the third actor enters, the certifier. This actor is needed to oversee the trading market by verifying that the wetlands are performing as expected. The certifier monitors the water quality of the new wetlands to certify the wetlands are actually removing the eight pounds of phosphorus per month. The certifier may be a local, county, or state agency, or an independent consultant. So now we have our setting and our three actors. Let's get to the plot. What exactly are our actors going to do? Remember, our goal is to improve water quality in the streams and rivers within our watershed. To do this, the regulated facility needs to buy eight phosphorus credits to reduce its excess load. Our three farmers have restored wetlands and drainage ways and other marginally productive lands and generate eight nutrient credits, which they want to sell. By buying the eight nutrient credits, the facility, with the farmer's help, has now reduced its total discharge amount to its permanent or allowable amount of two pounds per month. The credit certifier reviews the transaction to ensure that there is truly an environmental gain with this transaction. Even in this very simplistic water quality trading scenario, you can envision how this transaction can be a win-win-win strategy for the watershed if the program is implemented and monitored correctly. Facilities will have a low-cost way to meet their permit requirements, therefore saving money. Landowners will have an additional source of revenue. And the environment improves for all humans and wildlife in the area. There will be less nutrient pollution and more wildlife habitat, biodiversity, flood water storage area, and mitigation of effects of climate change. The Wetlands Initiative is working to make water quality trading happen in Illinois. 
The initiative's interdisciplinary research team is completing a study to fill an information gap on how to set up, regulate, and promote a new market. Join us.